students in design of transmission system the unit name is sliding and rolling contact bearing today's topic is reliability in design for cylinder loads and speeds in certain applications ball bearings are subjected to cyclic loads and speeds as an example consider a ball bearing operating under the following conditions first radial load 2500 newton at 700 rpm for 25% at 25% of the time radial load 5000 newton at 900 rpm for 50% of the time and radial load 1000 newton at 700 150 rpm for the remaining 25% of the time suppose that the work cycle is divided into x elements let p1 p2 dot dot px be the loads n1 n2 dot dot nx be the speeds during these elements during the first element the light l1 corresponding to light p1 is given by l1 is equal to c upon p1 bracket raised to 3 into 10 raised to 6 revolution in one revolution the life consume is 1 by l1 or p1 cube upon c cube into 1 by 10 raised to 6 uh, let us assume that the first element consists of n1 revolutions therefore the life consumed by the first element is given by n1 p1 cube upon 10 raised to 6 c cube Similarly, the life consumed by the second element is given by n2 p2 cube upon 10 raised to 6 c cube. Adding these expressions, the life consumed by the complete work cycle is given by n1 p1 cube upon 10 raised to 6 c cube plus n2 p2 cube cube upon 10 raised to 6 c cube plus dot dot nx px cube upon 10 raised to 6 c cube if p is equivalent load for the complete work cycle the life consumed by the work cycle is given by n p equivalent cube upon 10 raised to 6 c cube where n is equal to n plus n2 plus dot dot nx equating expression a and b n1 p1 cube plus n2 p2 cube dot dot nx plus px cube is equal to n p equivalent raised to 3 or p equivalent is equal to root of 3 n1 p1 cube plus n2 p2 cube upon n1 plus n2 p is equal to cube root of summation of n p cube upon summation of n the above equation used for calculating the dynamic load capacity of a bearing when the load does not vary in steps of constant magnitude but varies continuously with time the above equation is modified and written as p equivalent is equal to integral 0 to n p cube upon dn upon integral 0 to n dn bracket raised to 1 upon 3 or p equivalent is equal to 1 upon n integral p cube dn raised to 1 by 3 in case of bearings where there is combined radial and axial load it should be first converted into equivalent dynamic load before the above com- computations are carried out there are example a single row deep groove ball bearing has a dynamic load capacity 40500 newton and operates the following work cycle radial load of 5000 newton at 500 rpm for 25% of the time radial load of 10000 newton at 700 rpm for 50% of the time and radial load of 7000 newton at 400 rpm for the remaining 20% of the time calculate the expected life of the bearing in hours this is p equivalent cube root of n cube cube root of n1 p cube p1 cube plus n2 p2 cube plus n3 p3 cube upon n1 plus n2 plus n3 step 2 l10 is equal to c upon p equivalent is to 3 L10 that is equal to 2768.45 hour. This is the example number two. Same this uh, example. In example number three, same problem and same uh, same data and different value and same pro, uh, same formula are used. This is the problem number three. Now. 
we discuss about bearing with the probability of survival other than 90%. In the definition of rating life, it is mentioned that the rating life is the life that 90% of a group of identical bearings will complete or exceed before fatigue failure. The reliability R is defined as R is equal to completed L million revolutions upon total number of bearings under test. Therefore, the reliability of bearings selected from the manufacturer's catalog is 0.9 or 90%. In reliability or probability of survival, the reliability in bracket R is defined as the ratio of the number of bearings which have successfully completed L million revolutions to the total number of bearings under test. According to Webel, the relation between the bearing life and the reliability is given as. These values are obtained from the condition L50 is equal to 5 L10, where L50 is the median life or life which 50% of the bearings will complete or exceed before fatigue failure. Equation is used for selecting the bearing when the reliability is other than 90%. In a system, if there are number of bearings, the individual reliability of each bearing should be fairly high. If there are n bearings in the system, each having the same reliability R, then the R reliability of the complete system is given by Rs equal to Rs to n, where Rs indicate the probability of one out of n bearing fatigue during its lifetime. This is the example. This is the example. In this example, a single row deep groove ball bearing is subjected to a radial force of 8 kN and thrust force of 3 kN. So, this is a very simple problem. Only value is put in this problem and the solution is gated. In home assignment, which material use manufacturing and lubrication and mounting of bearing. So, this is a very simple topic of reliability. So, thanks all of students.